subscribe and share. Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snow. And today we are doing another Windows 10 tutorial. And today we are going to show you how to set the time and date within Windows 10. Interestingly enough, the actual method on how to set the time and date has been pretty much the same even in Windows 8, but in Windows 10 they changed it. So even if you've been around with this with Windows for a while, you might be best to actually take a look at this particular video. So right now the Windows 10 is in beta and it will be fully out within the next month on July 29th. So if anything changes between now and then on this topic, then I will put outdated in the title and leave a link to where you can see an updated version of the video. But anyway, so let's get into this. So first things first, what you need to do is go to your taskbar on the bottom and select the time on the bottom right. From here, what you need to do is, if this is wrong, go to change date and time setting. And this will bring up the settings. You could also go to the notification and go to all settings, which will bring you to the same area. Or if you go to start and go to settings, this would also bring you here. So it's a few different methods again here. Next, you'll need to go to time and language, and then make sure you're under date and time. So from here, what you need to do is, if this is wrong, what you need to do is set time automatically if possible. And basically this will do is it will look online for the date and time. Then you need to make sure you're in the right time zone. And to make sure you're in the right time zone, basically all you have to do is just select the drop down menu and go from here. If perhaps you don't know what time zone you're in, then you can go on Google or whatever search engine and actually look it up. But um, yeah, just keep that one in mind. If you don't know what time zone you're in, you can let, use Google or whatever. And I'll tell you what city and state is in what time zone. So from there, what you need to do is select the adjust for daylight savings time automatically. I'm not really sure why they give you that option. It really should be on always as far as adjusting as needed. I guess if you're in an area that does have daylight savings time. Then below here, you need to see the formats and see if this is how you like it. Whereas the first day of the week, I don't like it start on Sundays. I like the first day of the week starting on Mondays. And as far as the month, day, whatever, let's select that. So for me, I prefer to use the month, day here on both. And the time, that's pretty much it. So what it is is hours, minutes, a.m., p.m., and then hours, minutes, seconds, a.m., p.m. And then just go back and you can see that now it says the first day of the week is Monday and it pretty much says everything like I want it to. So month, day, and um, year, and month, day, year. So go down even further in additional time and if we wanted to we can select this set the date and time and we can get the old interface back and also change time zone additional clocks so if we want to add another clock we can actually do it within here and um, that may be something that's added when the final thing is done but it'll be in here now if you don't 
want your time being synced from anywhere, you can go to internet time, change settings, and you can tell where to set the synchronous to. For me, it doesn't really matter. It's kind of same no matter where you go. So if, if for whatever reason you find one service doesn't work for whatever reason, which I highly doubt, or you prefer one over the other, which I'm pretty sure you don't care either, you can change it there. Now from here, you can actually, okay, all of that, and that's pretty much it. Now, real quick, let's get into the old interface. Uh, so right now, I want to be perfectly clear. We're pretty much going from the Windows 10 to what it was like before, since it's on here. And we can actually select add time uh, additional clocks and same thing as clicking anything up here. And if you actually select change date and time, this is how it was like before. And if you select that, the change counter settings, and you can actually select how you want your format to be. So really, I prefer it like this because it's it's a lot easier with a new interface than going through all this other stuff. That's the reason why I um, went through this method first. And I, I highly advise you, if you're going to do it, do it all your settings within the settings area, which is this window and do all your stuff within here because it, it's just a lot easier and even though it doesn't really catch your eye or at least it doesn't catch mine it's a lot easier than seeing all this and um and it's a lot quicker to understand what's going on but anyways as far as that goes if you do have any questions feel free to leave them down there in the comment section below and i'll try to answer it as quickly as possible also, please feel free to leave a recommendation on what you want a next video to be on, and that way I can work on it as soon as possible. If you want to add any comments or anything, also leave that down below in the comment section. Now, if you like this, please leave a like, subscribe, share, watch our other videos, and please feel free to follow us on Twitter so you can see our new videos whenever they come up. If you don't like this, go ahead and leave a dislike and tell me why so I can fixing for future videos but again this has been craig bennett founder on our tech views and up and hope you have a great day